This week, Robo Lawyers got some questions about the final exam, and as the exam's coming up, I thought we might just check to make sure that Robo Lawyer understands what's required in the exam. Now, Robo, you're wearing glasses today, which is very good. So, if you do wear glasses, please make sure you bring them along to the exam. It'll help you read the exam paper. So Robo's got his glasses on, and what you've heard, it's an open book exam, so you want to know what you can bring in. Well, it's an unrestricted open book exam, and what you're going to bring in your textbooks, yes, that's a great idea, Here's, you've got your family law textbook, Robo's going to bring that in, and this one, yes, understand the Australian legal system, that's okay too, that's very wise, Robo. And what's this? Your law dictionary. Yes, yes, that's a good idea, Robo. You can use the law dictionary in the exam. You're allowed to in the law exams. Uh, it's spelt out there. And you've got some overheads. You printed out the overheads as well. Yes, that's good. That's smart too. Your study guide. More overheads. Your resource materials, yes, that's all acceptable. And what? You've got some brochures you wrote away to the fam family dis uh, dispute resolution, uh, family relationships place, and got brochures about the new changes to the Family Law Act. That's not a bad idea, Robo. Or you could have actually just downloaded them, printed them out, and taken them in as well. Because with an open book examination, you're able to take in this material. Now, and notice something else. I notice you've actually got one of these, only one thing marked here. Yes, you can put post-its and things like that. In. You can highlight all what you find useful in that. Yes, and you can take in other books as well. Well, watch this now. You want to take in Pencil dog, you, yeah, that's why pencil dog's here. Now, pe those of us who haven't seen pencil dog, pencil dog's Robo Lawyer's friend, and he's got a pencil which comes out of his nose. Because you've heard with the multiple choice, you need a pencil. Well, first of all, Robo Lawyer, uh, you can't take in anyone else to help you, and that would include pencil dog. Now, what you will need is a lead pencil like this and an eraser because, and this is very important Robo Lawyer, you're going to get 30 multiple choice questions. Now if you look at the 2005 past exam, you'll get an idea of the sort of multiple choice question. And what you do is you actually get one of these. It's called a OMR card, and you've got to put your name and your student number and the course on one side and colour it in, and over the back you put the answers here, A, B, C, whatever you think the correct response is, and you colour it in. And that's why, yes, that's right, you have the eraser in case you make a mistake or you want to change your mind. And do you know what some really prudent students do, they actually, and I've got one here, it's not from this course, it's from some time ago, but guess the exam papers are pink, aren't they? They're a pretty pink colour. That tells us they're the standard exam, not the thirds. But they've actually gone through and marked their responses here as well just to make sure that in case the OMR card gets mislaid in the process. Normally they don't. We've been very, very lucky so far, but it's always helpful if you've got that backup. Some people do that. Okay. Now, yes, okay. No, pen yes, I know you're disappointed. Pencil dog can't help you in the exam. Well, about the exam, you, why don't you want me to tell you what's on the exam? Well, that's sort of not... That's sort of like cheating, isn't it? 
But I will tell you a bit about the exam. You've got 30 multiple choice questions, that's in part A, and you'd answer them on the OMR card. And then you have to answer three questions out of a choice of seven in part B. And the seven questions come from different topics we've looked at all through the term about the court system, about criminal and civil proceedings, about criminal law and criminal liability, family law, yes, changes to family law, you know about the Family Law Act, social security law, yes, that was you. you might have to explain some terms, and you, yes, you can use your law dictionary as well. I can't promise that every answer will be found in your textbook, so don't go necessarily looking in your textbook. Use your common sense if you're not sure. Um, so you only have to do three questions there. Don't go and do any more. How much should you write? Well, there's two things there. You write as much as you can, and it have a look at the number of marks for that part of the question. So if it's a five mark question and you write one line, you're not likely to get a lot of marks. But because the you've got 60 marks, 180 minutes, I tend to say, what well, that's uh, three minutes a mark, that's right. So for a five mark question, write for about 15 minutes or spend about 15 minutes on it. What's that pencil dog? What if you make up time in the multiple choice? Well that's, you're, that's very good. I tell you what, oh here's Angela learning. Angela learning, oh, she, wants to, she wants to help everybody. I think Angela learning would be a very welcome guest, yes. Uh, her thoughts Angel's thoughts are with everyone doing the course. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Anyway, what you've got to do is budget your time wisely. Don't look up every answer. You go through and you do the ones you can. The textbooks are there to help you clear up points you're not clear on. Uh, Yes, there will be a question on the law and the younger person. That's right. There's one of those in part B too. Yes, if you go and go through the 2005 exam, I think you'll find that very, very helpful. That's the idea, yes. Uh, so, I don't know. What, what else do we have to do? Well, check your exam timetable. Make sure you turn up at the right time on the right day. I think it's the 15th of June, yes. If you need a deferred exam, follow the university procedures. If something goes wrong immediately, yes, you can contact me, that's right. What? Yes, now, look, yes, I'm pleased you asked that, Robo Lawyer, about how do we work out your percent? Well, we take the mark you got for your assignment then we take the marks you got for your exam, we add them together, and that gives you your overall percent. So, supposing you got, well, we won't tell anybody what you got for your assignment, but uh, supposing someone gets, say, 20, uh, 26 for their assignment, well, they need to get 24 marks on the exam out of 60 to pass because 26 plus 24 make 50. That's right, yes, they don't even have to pass the exam to pass in that case. What, there are some, you've heard there are some people who got 40 for the assignment, they must have done awfully well. Yes, well they don't, they've only got 10 marks to get. Yes, yes, I think that's the case. Okay, yes, and I put the assignment marks up on the course web page. Okay, and we'll be doing, yes, the revision lectures on this week as well. That will go up on the course web page as well. And we'll be looking at the 2005 exam paper there. Okay, so you can't bring Pencil Dog in to help you. You can't bring in Angel of Learning to help you. 
uh, though Angela learning wishes everyone well, as we've said. So we might... Yes, you can go back and keep reading through and marking the stuff. That's very smart. You can write notes all over it to help you understand it, yes. Well, we'll leave it there for the moment. Right. We'll say goodbye. Goodbye, Robo Lawyer. Goodbye, Pencil Dog. Goodbye, Angela Lerman. Goodbye, everyone.